So with the introduction of Apple Pay, cardless ATMs, and all sorts of digital wallet apps, we're certainly moving into a cardless and cashless world. But nevertheless, we're still not quite there yet, and wallets are going to remain a part of every individual's everyday carry. So back in August 2018, I wanted to downsize from my traditional wallet. So I looked through a bunch of minimalist wallet options and came across the Trove Cash Wrap. I was instantly intrigued by its easy card access pull tab and its ability to hold not just cards, but also cash. Now I've been using it every day since, which is approximately 14 months now. And here is my review of the Trove Cash Wrap. The model that I have is the black carbon fiber, but it's available in a variety of other colors. The carbon fiber covers the entire outside surface area and the coin pocket. Inside, it's lined with Alicantra, which is a synthetic textile material that almost feels a bit like suede leather. The cash wrap is a trifold wallet secured in place by an elasticized band and can be opened flat. The carbon fiber model costs £43. The cash wrap is also available in the Trove's reflex material for £35 and in Italian vegetable tanned leather for £38 in a variety of different colors. You can also get a monogram to personalize it for an extra £5. The company also sells the original Trove and Swift models, including the ability to build your own, which is really exciting. Here's the custom one that I got for my girlfriend. You can mix and match the colors of just about any component of the wallet, including printing and artwork on the leather front. And the fact that all of Trove's wallets are handcrafted just makes it that little bit extra special. The cash wrap is only slightly larger than a typical credit card. Compared to other minimalist wallets, it's on the thicker side, especially if you fill up the coins pockets, but it's still thin enough to not be easily felt when placed in your pockets. Even with skinny jeans or slim fit jeans, I can still fit both my Trove and my keys in the same pocket comfortably. The cash out really excels and sets itself apart from all the other minimalist wallets when it comes to features. It can hold multiple cards, notes, and even coins. So let's go through each of these compartments. When you open up the cash wrap, the first part is an elastic pouch for storing your cards. To access them, just pull the elastic. Trove's website claims that you can organize up to 10 cards combined in this compartment and the pull tab, which I'll get to later. I've tried putting in 10 cards in here. It fits, but personally, I don't need that many cards and I also don't recommend it as it can be a little difficult to take them out when the pouch is really full. One downside is that the elastic pouch is a little small for some business cards and restaurant loyalty cards like this Umbrera one. To make it fit, I simply trim the sides of the cardboard cards by a few millimeters on each side. On the outside, the cash wraps pull tab makes accessing your most used cards really easy without even having to open the wallet. I found that it works best with one or two cards as you can simply slide either card out. This is extremely useful and is one of my favorite features. The middle section of the cash wrap has a carbon fiber pocket for storing coins. I usually have about four to five gold coins in here. It's super handy and considering the wallet's minimalist size, it's a fantastic feature. Below your cards in the elastic pouch is a place for securing your banknotes. It's simply held by the elasticity of the pouch. To put notes in, you really have to push them in, but it's easy enough to take them out and know they definitely won't accidentally fall out. Your notes lie flat lengthways across the wallet, and it's large enough for any Australian banknote. One of my initial impressions of the Trove cash wrap was that it was really well built, which is what you expect of a handcrafted product. Everything from the quality of the materials used to the craftsmanship and the stitching. But more importantly, how has it held up after 14 months of day-to-day -day use? The carbon fiber surface has held up really well, but the edges have started to fray. This certainly isn't causing the wallet to break down in any way, but it's definitely noticeable. All the stitching is holding up fine, both the elastic card pouch and the elastic band are still going strong. The tip of the pull tab initially had this rubbery coating on it, but as you can see, some of it has scratched off. All right, so what's my verdict? Overall, I really like the Trove Cash Wrap and I plan to keep on using it. In fact, I might even consider getting the leather version when this one breaks. It's a good size, got a clean and simple design, can hold everything that I need, well made and won't break the bank. So should you buy it? Well, here's my recommendation. If you want the absolute thinnest wallet, go with another option, like the original Trove, the Swift, or one of the Balroys. 
If you don't care about carrying coins, go with another option. If you want a luxury wallet that could last you literally a lifetime, go with another option. But if you're looking for a high quality minimalist wallet that's relatively small and thin with as little compromise as possible at a reasonable cost, I highly recommend the Trove Cash Wrap.